In this video, I will be reviewing the Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku from the Imayo series. Hello guys, I'm Chef Panko and I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe to know more about cooking and knives. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. The Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku has been bought with my own money and all opinions in this video are my own without outside influence or contracts. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. Now with the disclosures away, let's start with the video. We got 8 categories to talk about in this knife review. The first one is the aesthetic and specifications of the Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku. The Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku has a mono steel construction. The steel is stainless and is very durable. You can see the knife series on the right side. The other side has the Kai logo and information on where the knife is made. The blade length is 165mm measured from the heel towards the tip. The knife thickness is 1.8mm with no spine taper. The Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku handle has a half bolstered westernized handle. It is a full tank handle that is inserted into a laminated wooden handle and held together by three rivets. The handle has nice contours and is comfortable to hold for those with a small to medium hand size. If you have a large hand size, the handle might feel a bit small and will not fill your palms. This can cause some cramps and discomfort if you use the knife for a prolonged period. The handle is water resistant and is very nicely made with a half bolster for better gripping comfort at the neck area of the knife. The handle has a slight odor out of the box which will go away over time. The Santoku profile of the Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku has an aggressive curve upwards which is great for rocking. While you can still use a forward cutting motion, you have to angle it more, so it is not ideal to go for a forward chopping motion. Due to the aggressive curve and the short length of the Santoku, you have to add more travel distance to cut certain food completely. I recommend a pinch grip for a Santoku knife where the thumb and index finger determine the balance point. The balance point of Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku is exactly at the half bolster. The diagonal bolster also makes it comfortable to pinch at that area. For more precise tip work, the fingertip grip is also comfortable to hold due to the contours. The knife will be front heavy with a fingertip grip assisting you with your tip work. The exact steel type and rockwell hardness have not been specified, but it is a stainless steel that is durable and tough. The rockwell hardness on my review sample is around 56. The out of the box sharpness is decent and the knife is sharpened at around a 15 degree angle per side. The knife is also quite thin, giving you a smoother cutting performance. However, even with the thin knife, you will notice some slight wedging on denser food like a carrot. The edge retention is around 1 or 2 months with regular honing sessions in between before needing a whetstone sharpening session. The Kai Seki Mogoroku Santoku from the Imayo series is a solid budget knife that checks everything of what the knife should have. A nice balance point with the diagonal bolster for added comfort. The handle is on the smaller side, suitable for those with a small to medium hand size. The knife profile is on the more curved side and may not be ideal for those that want to do a forward cutting motion. The knife is catered for the home cooks and housewives. It is a worry-free knife that can handle some abuse. You will notice that the edge retention is not great and therefore a frequent hone on a honing rod is needed. If you want a knife with longer edge retention then you may want to look at the other series that Kai provides since the steel that they use on the Imayo series is on the softer side. There are slight gaps around the bolster so make sure it is dry before storing. Due to the softer blade, you will most likely need to hone the knife once a week and add a sharpening session every month or two. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to know more about cooking and knives, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. If you have any questions or other opinions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.